Stretton's driving um, driving days at Pembury. Um, we had a good day yesterday. Um, wetting the track as it's actually been dry in Wales again. Looks like it's rained a little bit overnight, but beautiful sunrise this morning. I don't know if you can see that uh, in the mirror. Beautiful. So yeah, should be set up for another good day today. I uh, had another awesome bunch of people, awesome bunch of guys I've got to know after, after the past couple of days, uh, both on and off track. Um, so yeah, hopefully should be catching up with them throughout the year as well. So yeah, today um, we've probably got about three quarters of a day in terms of coaching and sli slipping and sliding around in the Capris. And, um, and then we'll be heading back to England again. So we've got a uh, busy couple of days, Thursday and Friday this week as well. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Let's go look at the cars and circuit. So let's go look at my steed for the day. <coughs> Very basic in here. It's just a stripped out Capri, really. Got some Formula Ford tyres on the back, some cross ply Dunlops on the back, and uh, it's an absolute drift weapon, drift machine, so it's perfect for uh, practicing car control around the Pembury circuit. Obviously, I've also mentioned we wet the circuit as well, so it makes for an interesting passenger ride with uh, the clients that Martin has brought down this um, this week. So, a perfect way to blow out the cobwebs, perfect way to practice car control ready for the season ahead. So. Yeah, great initiative by him and uh, everyone really uh, appreciates the advice that both he and uh, the other instructors all give. So, uh, yeah, let's go hit it. So we are finishing up on the second day here at Pembury and what about this for an evening? It's ridiculous. Middle of Jan. Either way, another great day. Really good bunch of guys. All improved massively. Uh, had absolute pleasure both being on circuit and off circuit with them. And yeah, hopefully we'll get to see them again in the near future um, at race meetings across the UK. Historic stuff. So hopefully we should be bringing some more historic stuff your way as well. Um, so yeah, this is goodbye from Wales. I wouldn't say goodbye in Welsh, but I really don't know. So um, yeah, what have I got next, coming up next? Off to London, I think, is the next one. Business meeting. So catch up then. Bye bye. London. So we're here this morning uh, to come and see Life Venture Group and the Formula Life publication. I hope you're going to be doing some cool stuff with them this year. So uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a catch-up meeting um, with the plans to go in the near future. So it's been a little while since I've been down here, so it'd be good to see the guys again and uh, talk about exciting stuff. So yeah, can't wait. Let's go do this. Right then, so back in the Letter of Garden City, the LGC now. Um, meeting went really well. More I meet with the Formula Life group, the more I understand about the company, the more I um, understand the capability of what's available. So yeah, really looking forward to working together with those guys and um, yeah, meeting again next week for um, progression of those plans. So really excited for 2017. Things can be a wicked year. And now with the business sides of things sorted, we're gonna go look at some race cars and some race teams. So. This is the exciting bit. I will be back full time in a motorsport championship and I am absolutely over the moon. It's been far too long since I've been this excited uh, to get my plans underway. Having taken effectively two years almost sabbatical, involuntarily may I add, um, I've managed to keep my hand in the game by competing in some odd races here and there, uh, the Golf 24 Hours, uh, sorry, 
Team Brick Golf uh, at the Silverstone 24 Hours, Goodwood Festival, Festival Speed Hill Climb, been over to Miami, racing the Ginetta, racing the Ginetta at Silverstone, as well as some Sports 2000 stuff. Big shout out to everyone that's kept me in the seat over the past couple of years, but yeah, now it's uh, confirmed. British GT Championship, the GT4 class with Lannan Racing, and uh, partnering Alex Reed. Motorsport News is, top GT4 driver of the year man. so hopefully this is going to be a very exciting partnership between the two of us uh, that's all the details that I can confirm for now hopefully we should um, have a testing schedule sometime soon of which I will bring to you the whole build up to the season the media day and everything surrounding that so yeah I'm absolutely hoping that it's been far far too long since uh, since I've had this feeling uh, I've been very fortunate up to the point uh, in my career and um, yeah just got to go out there and make things happen and that's what I've been doing the past two years so yeah it's gonna be a good one can't wait the pre-season is well and truly here and uh, I welcome it it's been far too long since I've had something to do so yeah 2017 let's go get it